Hello, magandang araw. So, ito yung solution natin para sa problem 3 ng unang classwork or classwork 1. So, yung problem natin is the three vertices of a triangle are located at points A, 6, negative 1, 2, points B, point B, negative 2, 3, negative 4, and point C, negative 3, 1, 5. Find letter A, vector R in the direction of, or vector R, Extending from point A to point B, letter B, vector R, from point A to point C, letter C, the angle theta, BAC, at vertex A, and letter D, the vector projection of angle RAB, or vector RAB, sorry, on vector RAC. Okay. Unayin natin si letter A. So, we are given the three points with the coordinates as shown. So, the formula natin for a vector extending from a point to point other than the origin through parallelogram law is and yung difference lang ng dalawang vectors na Extending from the origin to the two points for yung ending or yung start and end ng vector. Then, pwede natin pagsamahin or gamitin yung component method. Pagsamahin natin mga components sila. So, magiging ganito yung equation natin. So, in the x direction, negative 2 minus 6, kasi yun yung x components ni b and a respectively. Then, same is true for y, we have and 3 minus negative 1. Then, for the direction is z, we have 5 minus 2. Then, simplifying the equation, we have vector rab would be equal to negative 8, kasi negative 2 minus 6, that is negative 8 ax, then 3 plus 1 is 4, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. So, ito na yung sagot natin. The vector A standing from point A to point B. Diba? Very basic. Okay. Same process tayo. Given yung 3 points with their respective coordinates, ang kinukuha naman natin is the vector r extending from point A to point C. So, same solution, na iba lang yung points natin. So, gamit yung components nila, we have yeah, negative 3 minus 6, 1 minus negative 1, and 5 minus 2. And if we simplify, the equation would become, or our vector r extending from point A to point C is negative 9 ax plus 2 ay plus 3 az. That's for letter B. So let's move on. So letter C, ang pinapakuha is the angle theta pac at vertex A. So ito yung 3, actually triangle dapat to. Pero dito sa ating graph, or coordinate system, natin, pinapakita yung vector A to point B and vector A to point C. And yung hinahanap na angle, actually, angle theta, BAC, at vertex A, is the angle between the vectors RAB and RAC. And alam natin, that product na merong angle doon. Yung sa formula natin ng that product, which is vector RAB dot Vector RAC equals the magnitude of RAB times the magnitude of RAC times the cosine of angle BAC. So, yun yung gagamitin natin formula. Okay. First, kunin natin yung magnitude ng um, vector RAB. Since ito yung nakuha natin kay part A or letter A. So, yung formula natin for magnitude yung square root, tapos squared, 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 sa loob. So, eto. Ah, okay. Yung vector RAC naman, ito yung natin sa part B para makuha yung 
magnitude nilang dalawa, ganyan yung formula natin. So, ito yung magnitude, the square root ng squares ng components, or sum, yeah, square root ng sum ng squares ng components ng vector. Yun yung magnitude. So, for vector RAB, ang magnitude niya is the square root of negative 8 squared, that is the x component, 4 squared, the y component, plus negative 6 squared. Simplifying that, we will get the square root of negative 116. Same is true with the vector RAC. Pag kinuha natin yung magnitude niya, same formula, and we will get the square root of 94. So, yung equation natin dito sa taas would reduce Yan siya. Okay. So, para mailim, makuha natin yung angle doon, kailangan natin masimplify yung RAB dot vector RAC. Pero ba meron tayong alternate solution para makuha yung dot product ng vectors by not using the angles. Okay. Dineride na natin yan dun sa lesson natin. And ang formula lang is i-multiply natin yung components. So, x component times yung x component ng pangalawang vector. y sa y, z sa z. So, and then the equation will become ito. So, ito yung mga components. Si negative 9, negative 8, and negative 9 yung x component ng dalawa. 4 and 2, y component, negative 6 and 3, z components respectively. Then, we multiply and add. So, simplify. We will have, so yung right side, Equivalent niya sa 62 and yung dalawang square root since multiplication and same index or same sila na sa square root. Pwede natin pagsasamayin sa isang square root and find the product of 116 and 94 that is 10,094. Since we are looking for the angle between them, mag-divide lang tayo both sides. We will get that the cosine of theta BAC equals 62 all over the square root of 10,094. Then, inverse function na lang tayo sa calculator. And we will get that the angle between or the angle theta BAC would be equal to 53.58 degrees. Kung mapapansin nyo yung, yung exact one mismo yung nilalagay ko, hindi ko pa masyadong sinisimplify. Kasi pag Simplify tayo ng simplify or gamit tayo ng gamit ng approximate niya in decimal, lalo na itong mga square root. Medyo lumayo lang nang lumala yung sagot. So, as much as possible, mag-round off lang tayo dun sa final answer. So, that is the part C or letter C, the angle between or the angle theta B and C at vertex A. Then, lastly, for Letter D. Ang kinukuha is the vector projection of RAB on RAC. Excuse me. So, nasabi na nga that last time na ang isang application ng that product is the projection of a vector over a another vector. And kapag kinukuha natin yung vector projection ng Vector RAB and RAC, it is just equivalent to the vector RAB dotted to the unit vector in the direction of vector RAC. And simplifying that, usually yung formula natin, di ba dapat magnitude ng dalawang vectors. But since yung isang um, vector natin is a unit vector, automatic 1 yun. So kung mapapansin natin sa formula, nawala na yung pangalawang magnitude dito. Kasi nga, 1 lang din naman. So, parehas lang din. Okay. Nakuha na natin kanina yung magnitude ni RAB. Okay. Ito pala is, it, this is the scalar projection. Bago natin makuha yung vector projection, kunin muna natin yung scalar projection. Kasi yung vector projection is just equal to the scalar projection times the unit vector in the direction of vector RAC. So, ito mo yung scalar projection. Then, for the magnitude of RAB, alam na natin yan, nasolve na natin kanina, which is square root of 116. 
And naswag na rin natin dun sa part C, yung cosine ng angle theta BAC, which is equal to 62 over the square root of 10,904. Simplifying that, equal 62 over square root of 94. Although hindi ito simplified kasi kailangan mong irrationalize, pero magiging gasa man kasi pag nilagay mo sa calculator. So hindi ko muna siya sinisimplify para ma-avoid yung error at mas eksakto yung sagot natin. So ito na yung scalar projection ng RAB on on vector RAC. Para makuha yung vector projection niya, i-multiply natin tong value na to, yung scalar projection dun sa unit vector in the direction of vector RAC. So 62 over square root of 94 times paano na po ulit kunin yung unit vector the direction of a certain vector equal lang yan sa yung vector itself, ito mismo yung RAC, vector RAC, divided by the magnitude of the vector. Nakuha na natin kanina itong magnitude ng vector RAC, that is the square root of 94. And simplify natin, syempre, square root, square root yan sa baba. Magkakaroon tayo ng, or makakansan yung square root, which is 62 all over 94 times the vector RAC. And pag sinimplify natin, we will get, so yung final answer, the vector projection of RAB on, on vector RAC equals negative 279 over 47 AX plus 62 over 47 AY plus 93 over 47 AZ. So yan po yung solution for problem 3 ng classwork 1. If you have any questions, contact me dun sa Google Classroom. Thank you.